Hi, my name is Don Hopkins, and this is Micropolis, the open source version of SimCity. You can pick different scenarios or generate a random map or load a city from the library. Now, the simulator is running on the web server in Python, and it's programmed in C++ with Python using SWIC. The uh, actual user interface is programmed in Open Laszlo, which compiles into a Flash app. The Flash runs in the web browser. So now you can log in, and you can save a city and share the city with other people, and load different cities from the library. So right now we'll play Hate Ashbury. Now you can use these tabs to change things about the simulator, like this is the speed slider here. And it can go super fast or super slow. And these uh, notices, they pop up and they tell you important things that are happening in the city and you can click on that live view there to go and center the big map to look at it. Now we have some good uh, there's some traffic here. So there's this thing called a pack bot. It's this Pac-Man that follows the road around looking for traffic and then he eats it. So that's good for your city and you can have a lot of different Pac-Mans on the thing and you know just editing the road gives the Pac-Man somewhere to go. So uh, their score is how many cars they've eaten. So it's an agent and it walks all around, he follows roads, and you could put a lot of them on the map to keep the traffic low. So now it prints stuff out on the journal, and that journal is both a log of things that have happened and also a chat window, and also you can cheat with it. You can type uh, exclamation mark million to get a million bucks. Now um, the evaluation window is showing us how things are going, and the history has like 10 years or 120 year history that shows how much money we have. So the budget window here lets us change the tax rate and different things about the city. So we're just going to raise taxes really high and run fast and see what happens. Everybody moves out and all the zones flatten into just the little unpopulated letters. So now the traffic density map, there's an overlay that shows all the traffic. See all those red places are bad traffic. So we can zoom in and see where the highest traffic is. And also we can look at the population density of the cities because we've raised taxes so high, everybody's moved out. So let's have a monster. So I'm just going to make a disaster. So he's just going to go somewhere. We can click to see where he is. And we'll go to the control window, make time go really fast, and the monster will just wreak havoc. And everybody will leave town for good reason. So notice how the population is going to go down and all the buildings flatten again. So we can go to the budget window and make taxes really low. And guess what? Everybody's going to move back in. We'll go super turbo fast. So, uh, and then uh, it's uh, really funny that 20% uh, <laughs> tax is the highest you can do in SimCity. And they still complain. So uh, anyway, everybody moves back in when you lower the taxes a lot and speed time up and you, you, there's still damage to the city though so now you see all these little icons here this is a tool palette these icons are switching what you're going to use to build with and we can use the road tool to repair damage and we'll check the budget here um, lower the taxes a little bit uh let's see you can just slide this panel up to get it out of the way and you'll notice you're editing the map and you tend to go back and forth and back and forth between the map and the palette, and that's a very horrible waste of time. So as an alternative to that, you can actually slide this palette out of the way, and then you can click to get a pie menu on the map. And the pie menu just pops up centered on your cursor, and you hold down the shift key and click to get that. Now, all these items are right around you and in different directions, like a railroad and a bulldozer. And a, So you can clear zones out, and just quickly flip between different tools to bulldoze, road, uh, you know, do a... So the pie menu is used with quick gestures once you learn them. And they're really easy to remember because you use them again and again. So, like, this is the zone submenu, and you can do residential, commercial, or industrial zones. And if you make a mistake, you can redo it. See, the pie menu lets you just reselect without any, any, uh, any problem. So, anyway, whoa! I put that in the wrong place so I can I can bulldoze things and go zone residential and then put it over here plop and see that's from the wrong place so I flip over to the bulldozer and then crash it down and then go zone residential and then plop it right back down and once you know them you can just flip around zip, 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 without even thinking and it doesn't even display the menu and you don't have to look at the screen and that's why pie menus can save you so much time and uh, pack bots can save you a lot of traffic